Nikki D, Leland, it's a pretty start for anyone who can <laughs> peek outside right now. Uh, yeah, not bad at all. We've had a nice moonlit night, so feels good out there, although still a bit on the humid side. Up a little bit, but still not unbearable. I mean, when you compare it to where we've been, we're sitting pretty, mm -hmm. pretty warm for some, but yeah. you know what? It's better than where we have been over the past several days. But Leland, yesterday, 25 days in a row of 90 plus degree days, and it looks like that streak continues. Yeah, continuing through the weekend. We increase the rain chances too late in the weekend as well. We do, and we will take all that liquid sunshine we can get. Right now, though, as Rebecca pointed <laughs> out, at least it's pretty outside. It is a stunning view. Please watch out for wildlife because they are getting out and about early on because they know what's to come. Current temperature, 72 degrees right here in Music City. And here's a look at that buck moon. How beautiful and bright. It truly is like the nightlight has been left on for us. This view is over in Murfreesboro where your current temperature 71 degrees. Rebecca pointed out a little bit in the way of visibility issues and yes, we are seeing some of that. You'll notice around McMinnville coming in at two miles. Parts of Putnam County seeing some reports closer to a quarter of a mile in some of those lower lying locations. But the power five radars clean sweeps and we've got mostly clear skies. High pressure is with us, but this high is slowly going to slide its way out. So where are we sitting compared to yesterday? We are a few degrees warmer, four degrees warmer here in the city. You'll notice no 50s on the board. We're all in the 60s and 70s. Our dew points are in the mid to upper 60s, Leland. So it's humid, but we've got 70s on the horizon. And Leland, we know that's just about unbearable and swamp like. Yeah, definitely so. So we'll watch for that as we go into the second half of the weekend. Right now we've got fair skies as we look down on uh, the riverfront there from our camera at the uh, corner of First and Broadway. At the hour, we've got a current temperature reading now of 72 degrees here to start our morning. Upper 60s, so 70s over the area. Need to get out and walk the dog, grab the sunglasses. Samson has them. Uh, Samson, courtesy of Kelly Norris, uh, showing temperatures in the 70s for you this morning and then pushing up to around the 92 degree mark a little bit later in the day. 94 Nashville for you today, 93 in the borough, 92 uh, Shelbyville, upper 80s as you head back over to Cookville, Crossville, and then back over into the Lafayette area. Thinking about washing the car, we'll give you the green light today, tomorrow, but we'll take that up into the yellow orange category as with some increasing rain chances head, heading into Sunday and on Monday. Right now, that muggy meter is actually on the humid side. It'll go down a couple of degrees, so it'll bounce back between humid and noticeable today, but still, again, nothing unbearable out there. Here's the setup for us as we look at Exact track all looks good. Exact track tries to paint a little green or a north. I think overall we're good. Yesterday there were a couple of showers that did develop in the northeastern part of our viewing area. So for today, we'll make it up to about 95, 96 tomorrow. On Sunday, 91, and then some more rain chances into next week. We sure do. We've got more heat into next week. Looking to see more in the way of those pop-up showers and storms. Tuesday afternoon, Wednesday, Thursday will be in the upper 90s, feeling as if we are in the triple digit mark. And so if we get to Thursday, that's 32 days of 90 plus degrees mm -hmm. weather, and that would have us in second place. If we get to 34 days, we will tie for the longest stretch ever.